Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video on the bear flag pattern. Here's a really perfect bear flag pattern. Price is falling. You can see the red candlesticks. And then you get one, two, three candlesticks form a consolidation. Now remember, it's not five, it's not 20. So it's not between five and 20. There's three. That still makes it a bull, our bear flag. And you're gonna see this all the time whether it's on daily, weekly, monthly, or intraday charts, you're gonna see these patterns all the time. Three, sometimes you'll see one, sometimes you'll see two, sometimes you'll see more. But this is perfect bear flag pattern, flag pull down. So just put these candlesticks together to make it a flag pull. Consolidation back to the moving average lines, price breaks down, right? Perfect bear flag that you'll see here. Very, very important uh, to take note of. Next one, let's look at BIOS over here, right? So you can see some red candlesticks down, followed by some consolidation, right? Forming a potential or showing a flag, right? And then the stock breaks down. Now, I'm gonna try something here and see if it works on this one. If not, I'm gonna see if it happens on other ones. Just to show you, to throw up a little bit of a monkey wrench into things. Uh, when you're drawing trend lines. So this shows the flag here, but if you moved your trend line a little bit different, and maybe let's say moved it from like here to here, right? You notice how that just went from a flag and now it looks almost like a pennant. So it's very important to see how things can just really change just by changing the trend lines, but it's still telling you the same thing. This is still showing you the area of a potential breakdown. I just moved the trend line, I moved it from there to there, and then it's telling you, you know, the same story, kind of a pennant, kind of a wedge. This might be more of a pennant or a wedge. So that's the other thing. Is this a pennant? Is it a wedge? Who cares? <laughs> it's telling you the same story, finding the area. Again, it's falling down, consolidation, look for the breakdown area. So you see that? This is a perfect example of not to get bogged down. So if I do the same thing, now I have a uh, wedge and then a kind of a potential flag there. So I got a wedge or a flag. <clears throat> bear flag, bear pennant. Again, telling the same story. So important. I want to save you. This took me, I'm really stressing this because this got in my like psychology for a long time where I would just like get in my mind, because my I have kind of like an obsessive compulsive kind of brain. I'm just like, even though I know something tells the same story, I gotta say, well, what does a wedge look like exactly? What does a pennant look like? What does a flag look like exactly? I gotta know all the details of it, especially with teaching people, like my brain wants to like know all that stuff. So even though I know it's telling the same story, I wanna teach it to others, because if you have that information just sitting in your brain and you don't know the answer, it could distract you um, you know, it could be it could be like a stumbling block, right? So for me, it was until it just kind of connected. So very important just to see when you change these trend lines, it can tell a different, a, show a different shape, but tell the same exact story, right? Let's look at some more of these patterns. Again, because repetition is the key when trading. You can never look at too many stock charts, right? It takes looking at thousands of them to get really comfortable. So you can see here, Price is falling right here, flag pulled down, followed by some consolidation um, right here. So flag pulled down, followed by the flag, followed by the breakdown, right? So bear flag falls down, goes up. Very simple. Uh, let's take a look at, what is this one, Ford? Ford, bear flag. Let's go back over here now. You'll see many times gaps. When you have a gap up, picture that there's a flagpole there. When you have a gap down, just picture an invisible line here. That's a flagpole, right? Flagpole down. So you have this flagpole down followed by some consolidation here, right? So there's a flag. Now you'll see many candles here. So I don't know, maybe there's 20 if not more over here. So here you go. That's a bigger, a long kind of big flag, right? Now let's just change up. Again, the trend line's a little bit. Let's go this over here. All right, let's just do this. Remove this. Now what is that? That's like a, 
a pennant, right? You notice how I just changed that up, just that one little change. Now you have a bear pennant, right? So it's a bear pennant, or depending on where I do the trend lines, a bear flag. But guess what? It doesn't really matter. Now, over time, it may, depending on when you're drawing things. That's why on charts, you're going to have many times different trend lines, like several of them. Uh, so it's important just to be aware of um, you know your trend lines at all times. But this is still telling you the same story. Price is falling. It's consolidating. It broke down here. So when you're getting over here, it broke down while there was a bear uh, pennant or a bear flag. See that? Pennant or a flag. Very, very important to see that they're telling the same very similar story. Let's look at some more examples here. ONCS. Zoom in over here. All right. So price was falling over here. It's kind of like diagonally falling, followed by some consolidation here. Followed by it continuously fall or continuing to fall down. You'll see four candles there. Um, that's a bear flag, right? If I wanted to, I could keep it this way, or again, just to show you how you could just really mix things up. If I was to do that, what is that now? A wedge? Is that a wedge, or is it a upside down pennant, or is it a flag? Who cares? <laughs> it's telling the same story. It's falling. It's moving back up. You're kind of getting a zone. It's important to know these. So like when you draw them out, you know, potential resistance areas. So as it's moving and consolidating back up there, it's very important to see these trend lines. So before you know this, you're going to kind of want to see this, see what's happening for resistance. But as you're getting to this area over here, this area right at that point doesn't really matter because you're looking for it to break down on a bear flag, right? Very important. All right, let's look at X. All right, let's move in here. Where is this one? Okay, perfect example. So I like to show several different things. Very important. So this right here, see this gap down? Picture that as a flagpole, right? So now the flag is not going back up this way. Look at it's going down, right? So a flag kind of like grazing down in the wind, not going back up. Uh, so very important. There's several different looking flags. So if you kind of do this down here, you'll see the price is falling. It's going in this channel and it's falling downwards. Very, very important to know. Now, if I change this, I don't know if this will look different if I change it. Give an example here because I like to try to show you things. If I kind of zoom, did my do a little bit different. Now how you see it looks like almost like a wedge or maybe even like a pennant looking pattern. So you see how like just changing the trend line a little bit can make the pattern a little bit different. I can even just remove this one here, make it a little bit like tighter. Now it looks like it's a more of like a pennant, right? So, but it's still telling you the same story. Right, it's falling downwards, kind of like a pennant, kind of like a flag, kind of like a wedge. This is where I want to show you. It's all telling very similar stories. Again, you want to, you're gonna adjust trend lines all the time. Um, so at, at certain times, it might be more important uh, to have, you know, make sure it looks as as best as possible. But when it gets to here, as a potential reversal breaking out of that downtrend this kind of like area doesn't matter as much, right? Or some of these you might not touch. Sometimes, again, you're drawing trend lines. Some people like to go through the bodies. Some people like to go through the wicks. Um, it's all a matter of your preference, but you see, it's still telling the same story. Let's take a look at DSW. All right, let's zoom in here. Perfect example. Another one that's very different. Flagpole down. Consolidation down. Is that a flag down? Is that a wedge down? Who cares? It's telling you the same story. It's falling downwards. So now, again, as you can see, the flag's not going back yet. It's falling downwards, right? And then you can see here, another flag starts forming over here. So you can kind of just... Do it across like this. 
kind of do it across like that. Now you could say, okay, perfect. Another perfect example of this. Is that a flag or is that a wedge or is that a pennant? If I see how like you can look at it and you can see, oh, it's a flag, but then it's kind of getting like rectangular, but is it kind of squarish? Is it a wedgeish at the end? Who cares? Same point showing you here, showing this area consolidation broke down here a little bit. And then you're going to obviously have to see these resistance areas because they play a very, very important role. You can see they get kind of wrapped up in here, but you don't have to, again, I do things all the time. I'll call uh, something a flag when it's a wedge or a flag when it's a pennant because it's just easier. Like my brain is just remember, it's easier to just kind of roll off the tongue and say flag, right? You know, my brain's got to stop and think, okay, pennant. I might not call it a pen. I might just say triangle. It's easier to say. Instead of wedge, I'm just going to just say flag because it's easier to say. It's less thinking, right? But remember, it's seeing these patterns, putting them together, and then knowing what the traders are looking for with the support and resistance areas. That's what it's all about is really mapping out support and resistance, not all about saying, hey, let's call something 100% exactly like it is, right? Very important. And because I just love to just go on repetition because it's so important. I'm going to show you some more examples. JCI, big flag pole down, right? Several candlesticks back right to these moving average lines here. That's why it's very important. Learn trend lines. If you don't know trend lines, make sure you're, um, you become a subscriber. We have some private content describing how to do trend lines and, uh, because <clears throat> it's very important. You're just not only are candlesticks important, not only are horizontal support and resistance important. You also got to know trend lines to find all of these things like flags and and triangles and all that good stuff. Super important uh, to learn. So again, subscribe and we teach you how to do this stuff. I'm just showing you the patterns here. You can see the flag here, and obviously getting your support and resistance. Price falls out, right? But then you can see right here another perfect example, right? So bear flag falls out, but look what it does again. Now it kind of forms like a, what is that? Is that a flag? Is that a pennant? Is that a wedge? Who cares? Formed another flag pulled down, followed by consolidation, followed by a breakdown, right? So I'm going to remove that and show you again. Price is falling down, flag pulled down. Look at this. Kind of coming up over here. Consolidation. I would just probably naturally call this, oh, okay, it's it's bear flagging back to the EMAs, but it's kind of a, like a pennant, right? So it's kind of got like a triangle pattern, sort of like a pennant, again, telling the same story. It broke down again. So you could see bear flag, bear flag, bear flag. It's easy for me to roll off the tongue. I, it's hard for me to say bear flag or wedge or bear pennant wedge or bear wedge. Is that a pennant? It's just easy for me, rolls off my tongue, bear flag, bear flag, you know, bear flag. See, I hope this really makes sense to you. If it doesn't, just make sure you watch these videos over and over until you really grasp it. Just understand again, flags, wedges, pennants have lots of similarities. Just understand the story that they're trying to tell. If you're not a member of our community yet on Facebook, come and join us. We are the Bullish Bears. You will see right up here, we call ourselves the Stock Market Community, just to differentiate ourselves from our fan page over here. So make sure to like and follow our fan page as well as join our Facebook group. You will notice when you join our community, we keep all the spammers, the trolls, and the stock pumpers out. So we run a really good, clean Facebook group. So if you want to uh, join a community of other traders around the world, make sure to come and join us. Also, too, if you have not been over to our website, head over to bullishbears.com. You'll have the links below. And you'll see over on our website, we'll have several different trade rooms over here. We have a day trade room. We have a swing trade room, a futures trade room, other great areas of support. Uh, so not only do we have our Facebook community, we also have our trade rooms that are open 24 by 7. So you can talk to traders from around the world anytime, day or night, 
And it's a really helpful resource, especially if you're new and just getting started in the stock market. It's nice to have other uh, traders around the world as support. So we have our several different trade rooms, our Facebook group. We also do watch lists and trade alert setups every night. Uh, we send out key breakout and breakdown areas are on our alert service each night. We are not stock pumpers. We do not call out entries and exits. We help to teach you to become your own trader. So again, we help to guide you, but we're not calling entries and exits because we are not stock pumpers. So make sure you read about our alert service over here uh, if you want to know how our trade alerts work. We do also have thousands of dollars worth of free courses over here to help you get started. Uh, so if you're new, give yourself a few months to get comfortable with trading. You know, it takes many traders, you know, a few months, if not a year plus before they get really comfortable. And that's why we suggest taking our free courses and then practice in a virtual account like Thinkorswim or Interactive Brokers to really get comfortable. Make a few hundred practice trades, practice in our trade rooms, talk to other traders around the world and just get yourself comfortable with trading. And then when you're really comfortable, then start trading with real money. Um, you'll see right here, we also have our ebook. So make sure to grab that. We have a free candlesticks ebook as well as our wallpaper backgrounds as well. So we offer so much value to our community members. So if you are not a member yet, make sure to just click the subscribe button over here and you can come and join our community. And also don't forget, if you like this video, make sure to like it, comment on it and share it. We would greatly appreciate it and uh, we will see you in our community. Enjoy.